Hello, welcome to 123windelfrei.de, your German attachment parenting blog from Berlin. I'm Nicola Schmidt and in spring 2009 I've been to the United States and I had so many questions and I asked them to the experts, the scientists and those people who claim to know and I want to share their answers with you. Today, James McKenna, director of the Mother Baby Sleep Laboratory at the University of Notre Dame. And this was my question. What biology are you talking about? There's a very important underlying, sometimes even hidden, biology that is important <laughs> when babies are in contact with their mothers and indeed when they are sleeping next to them. Babies are extremely sensitive, for example, to the vesicular breathing sounds of their mothers, and they respond by entraining their own breath and the speed at which they breathe to that of the mother. Now, they can't breathe at the same pace of the mother, but they're affected by mother's sounds of breathing, and the breast per minute of the baby is in fact changed by the mom's rising and falling of her chest. And for a baby born as undeveloped as the human infant, these little signals and cues are indeed buffers against any kind of mistakes um, that uh, a, perhaps an older baby born with more brain development at birth would not have made. But the whole environment of the mother's body is a critical link to that baby's effective physiology such that you really can't understand the physiology of human infants without understanding its connection and the way it's being regulated by the mother's presence. The radiation of the mother's heat heats up the baby's body because the baby's the thermal regulation is undeveloped. Baby can't shiver. They have no control to really um, keep their, their bodies warm. But again, that was never an issue because throughout all of human evolution, mothers' bodies were always close by to radiate and to keep their babies warm. Skin-to-skin -skin contact raises that baby's body temperature. Similarly, the arousal patterns of the baby that is responding to mother's sounds and her touches, her little whispers. Um, those arousals oxygenate the baby every time the baby opens his eyes and responds to something mother is doing. That baby takes a breath that it might not have otherwise taken. So the breath per minute is changed. The heart rate, which is intimately linked to breathing, is in fact changed. We're talking, as I mentioned previously, body temperature, hormonal status, the actual ability of the baby to absorb nutrients from its mother's milk is affected by touch. Tiffany Field showed that if you simply massage a baby 15 minutes each day, its average daily growth rate will increase by 47%. That is the numbers of grams that it puts on. And this is because of the flow of endorphins that somehow has an effect on the elasticity of the intestines so the baby can absorb more of those calories. So touching is not just affectionate or a social gesture, again, as I'm trying to argue, because of the neurological immaturity of the baby's body, these touches and sounds and radiation, shared smells even of the baby, they actually penetrate into that baby's physiology and they change it to um, a clinically positive um, position. That was 123windelfrei.de on tour. More questions? Click it again next week. <laughs>